Hi, my name's Matt Siddle, and I'm the manager of the Fidelity European Growth and European Larger Companies Funds. This is a brief update on how the portfolios are currently positioned and why. European markets have rallied sharply, helped by the falling euro, falling oil price and improving credit availability. However, the strong performance has massed significant volatility and rotation within the market. For me, this has created opportunities to adjust the portfolio as stocks moved up and down on my quality valuation matrix. As a result of QE, some stocks that are viewed as bond proxies rose sharply despite fundamentals not improving. My holdings in Unibuy, Vodafone, Nestle and Unilever fell into this category. I therefore reduced or closed these positions. Similarly, several of my autos positions rallied sharply. Again, I took profits here, selling out of Renault and Continental. Renault in particular was an example of a stock in the lower left of my quality valuation matrix, a lower quality company trading on an attractive valuation. With the valuation no longer looking so cheap, however, I felt it was time to sell. I've reinvested the proceeds into areas that had lagged, such as some healthcare stocks, and have continued to invest in higher quality cyclicals which are trading on attractive relative valuations. Healthcare is now the largest overweight at the sector level. These are high quality companies and trading on attractive relative valuations. We're now entering a phase where the patent cliff is largely behind us and pipelines are looking healthy. Key positions here include Roche, Smith & Nephew and Sanofi. I began increasing my exposure to cyclicals in Q3 last year. Valuations have become significantly cheaper compared to the defensives despite improving fundamentals. My focus remains on higher quality cyclicals in areas such as tech and media which stand to benefit from the improving outlook. A good example of a position that I've increased significantly since the start of the year is SAP. This is a high quality stock that's derated to its lowest ever relative valuation as investors worried about the cloud. Extensive research by our team has given me confidence that SAP is well positioned to manage this transition. A pullback earlier in the year gave me the opportunity to make this one of the largest positions in the fund, and Q1 results confirm the underlying growth of the business is progressing well. The result of these changes is that funds now underweight traditional defensive sectors and financials and overweight higher quality cyclicals. My overweight in the energy sector is offset by overweights in consumer discretionary and lack of exposure to stocks in the utilities and material sectors that own oil fields, leaving me underweight commodities overall. The fund remains marginally overweight US profits, underweight European, due to my preference for farmer names such as Roche and Sanofi over more domestic utilities and telecoms. I hope this gives you an insight into how the fund's currently positioned. Thanks for watching and until our next update.